secondary beams. Let's discuss in this short video the purpose of the secondary beams, what are the parameters need to be considered for design and analysis, and what type of end conditions need to be provided for secondary beams. So, secondary beams, the primary importance of the secondary beams used in the structural system is to transfer the roof loads to the supporting beams that is called primary beams. So, the secondary beams will take the loads and transfer to the primary beams which is main beams. So, now let us go to the, the, the main purpose like transferring the loads to the primary beams and also it provides the lateral stability to the main beams and also it provides the supporting to the roof structural elements whatever may be the roofing system which provided for the buildings or industrial buildings or any kind of structures okay and also it will minimize the deflection of the primary beams because it actually provides the lateral supports at each and every i mean it's a regular distance right this obviously will reduce the main, i mean the deflection for the main beams and also it will reduce the the total buckling length of the beam by providing the support at certain intermediate levels so this is one of the major purpose using the secondary beams into the structural system now so first thing is in the design the secondary beams most of the uh, structural system used to transfer the load to the main beams and the purpose also like is to reduce the burden of the main beam and transfer the loads appropriately to the main beam without you know increasing the impact of the main beam design so for that actually practically and practical purpose most of the secondary beams has been connected to the main beam using the shear connection so that means only the the load will be transferred to the main beam as a point load so that's why the secondary beams can be designed using a like a simply supported beam as a major axis bending and then can be designed for shear as well whereas coming to the main beam which is a primary beam apart from the major axis bending and minor axis bending we need to design for the torsion as well because there is a lot of secondary beams is actually connecting to the main beam there is a high chances of producing those as a twisting to the main beam so that need to be designed for the torsion so now coming to the the buckling length which as given here there is an yellow line and red line by providing these secondary beams and most of the uh, you know it will reduce the the buckling length i'm giving an example over here it will reduce the in plane and the out of plane buckling for the members if you don't provide you know uh, secondary beams or any beaming system to the columns at each and every interval there is a the length of the column will be increased and obviously it will become a long column and the strength will be reduced so that's why the the beams or whatever the supporting members to the column which is an important for the structural analysis and design now let's go to the end conditions so the end conditions actually because we already decided that if the secondary beam has been used only for the load transfer so the shear connections has been i mean the deployed into the practical purpose when the shear connections has been used for uh, secondary beams then we should release the movement at the connecting point of the main beam so there is a two options we have full movement release and partial movement release so full movement release because we we, we think that you know the shear connection will only transfer to the uh, the total load to the main beam but however there is a small portion of the rigidity will be there because of the shear connection 
So for practical purpose, there is some part of the moment definitely will transfer to the main pin. So we can use this partial moment release concept, which is available in most of the softwares while analyzing the structure. We can apply this partial moment release concept to analyze the structure system. The third one, because of this, the moment release conditions, we play the major role in the analysis and then based on that we can able to get the, the analysis results obviously based on the design will be perfect. So these are the simple few uh, tips uh, can be keep in mind when we are actually using the secondary beams and how that load can be transferred to the main beam and how that secondary beams need to be modeled in the software uh, system. Thank you very much. Uh, please subscribe to the channel for more updates.